Welcome back, healthcare workers. Those that are high risk and seniors are the first group of people getting the COVID-19 vaccine. There hasn't been a set way for medical staff to monitor how someone is doing after getting the vaccine until now. UC Health is using new technology from a company in Golden that's created what's called the Bio Button. So here to talk more about is the CEO of BioIntelligence, Dr. James Malt. Good morning, James. Good morning, John. How are you? I'm mean, well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's get right to this. Uh, healthcare workers at UC Health uh, who do get the vaccine are going to be wearing this coin sized device. How would you describe what it does and how reliable is it? Well, this is a device that we developed uh, prior to COVID for monitoring patients after they leave the hospital for things like infection and, and cancer patients who are getting chemotherapy. So uh, it, it's a device that we received uh, FDA clearance about a year ago, and uh, it measures vital signs just like the bedside monitors in the hospital, but now it makes, us, uh, makes it uh, possible to be able to make those same measurements with the same clinical accuracy uh, after you leave the hospital. So when COVID came along, uh, we had essentially a, a, a sticker, a little uh, Band-Aid sized device that could monitor for fever and infection and uh, literally all the signs and symptoms of a COVID infection. Uh, they started being used by, by UC Health and other hospitals uh, for taking care of COVID patients. But now obviously this is relevant to people receiving the vaccine and monitoring for fevers and side effects of the vaccine. There have been some side effects that some people have experienced, very minimal though. If the vaccines are more than 90% effective, is something like this even necessary? Well, we think for, for the general healthy individual, probably not, although it may be reassuring for a lot of people to still have something that can very quietly monitor them and, and ensure that they're not developing symptoms. But for the most part, we're seeing that uh, someone who's on chemotherapy, elderly, frail, people with significant chronic diseases, you know, that's where it, it may be beneficial to be able to have closer monitoring. And if they start developing problems, uh, then your healthcare provider, nurses, doctors can, can be in front of a potential side effect. So I suggest the company's profiting off a pandemic. What's your response to that? Well, we're really all about trying to help people and help doctors and nurses uh, deliver better care. And, uh, you know, this is all about keeping people safe. And, and again, we're not uh, doing this as a, um, as a promotional uh, aspect. Uh, we're actually an FDA medical device that's used uh, routinely to take care of, of, of people who need, need care. So can you see this eventually being expanded outside of UC Health and once the general public starts getting vaccinated that we could potentially be wearing this to monitor symptoms? Well, I think again, uh, this device has already been in clinical use widespread uh, throughout the United States and, and soon uh, through the rest of the world uh, for monitoring patients uh, under routine care. Uh, as it relates to the vaccine, uh, working with UC Health has allowed us to be able to do an operational test, show that it works, and, and to be able to look at the data and see where will this deliver benefit. And then yes, uh, it should be more widely available for the appropriate uh, clinical scenarios uh, over the next uh, weeks and months. That's very interesting. And all this technology was rated in golden, right? Just maybe talk about the local aspect of this as well. Yeah, we're very proud to be a, a, a Colorado company based in Golden, and and you know Colorado has really become a, a center of excellence for technology and, and medical technology in particular, uh, and the talent here and the talent pool to draw upon in order to be able to do these kinds of things, and the medical device industry is is uh, is, is a great opportunity uh, for the state of Colorado. Right on. Thank you so much for joining us and for providing a little bit more insight on the bio button. I thought it was fascinating. Uh, that is our uh, uh, Dr. Malt. Thank you again. We appreciate it. We're going to send it over to Becky for a look at the forecast. Thank